Okay, it is March 19th, 2016, and this just came in the mail. It's my new Hacko, my Wacko Hacko uh, desoldering tool. I have not opened it. I've never used it, so I'm not even sure how to use it. But I have something, some solder that I want to take off of a board. Um, this here is one of the original Dexter 3 boards that I had made in the purple color and as you can see I have a lot of mods to it um, this board's pretty sentimental for me because it represents a major milestone so this is the one that I actually run in my Dragon Star cabinet because it's it's fully functional even though it's an early revision so the part that I know I want to desolder on here is I used to have some pin headers installed in here and I used some chip quick to desolder it really fast which left some residue I'll show you the other side so right here the this is the residue of the chip quick sorry about the focus and uh, I'm gonna try to desolder this I could use I could just use some flux and a uh, solder wick or a copper braid as some people call it and but I'm gonna I want to try this hacko and see if this will actually um, be useful for this. I don't know if, if uh, I mean, I'm sh I think the hack is more for like pins like this, are you know, the pins coming through the board that have solder around them. Don't know how useful it's going to be where there's no pins and just a bunch of glob of solder, but I'm going to try it out and see how it works. So I opened up the box and this is what I found. And I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. I thought, um, I thought I'd just be able to like pick this thing up and go, but it looks like looks like I am gonna have to read a little bit of instructions. Looks like it has like this really thin screwdriver, a very flimsy tip, and I have no idea what this thing is. And I have no idea what this thing is. Or these. Ah. I just wanted to pick this thing up and pull the trigger and go. So looks like I'm gonna have to do some reading. No one likes, I mean, customers want, customers want instant gratification, right? They don't want to, like, open up their new toy and have to read manual. Okay, so this is just kind of an interesting observation from me being a noob and not really knowing what to expect with this thing. I, I know this thing is supposed to suck the solder out somehow using some kind of vacuum, so I kind of expected the tip to be hollow, but it's not hollow it's solid, or so it appears to be. So I'm really curious how this thing is supposed to suck when it doesn't seem to have any... I mean, it doesn't seem to be like a vacuum cleaner. I kind of thought it'd be like a vacuum cleaner. So I'm pretty curious how this thing's gonna work. Okay, so I did some reading in this uh, instruction manual. Apparently there is supposed to be a hole here, but um, when not in use, you're supposed to seal it with solder so it comes shipped that way. At least that's my understanding. Also there's this filter thing here which is supposed to be cleaned per pretty periodically. There's a little piece of metal inside there and then a white filter made of unknown material behind that. So apparently that collects the solder. And this little tube back here. And this yellow thing goes on. So this actually looks like a pretty cool device. I'm getting more excited to try it out. Okay, I've turned it on. The manual says that I'm supposed to wait five minutes for this thing to heat up and then apply a generous coat of solder to the tip. I don't really imagine that most people who use this tool will wait for five minutes, but that's just a guess. Okay, I can see it starting to oxidize, so I'm gonna I'm gonna press this vacuum button and see if it sucks in the solder that's on the tip. Oh, you can't really see that. Oh, there you can. Yeah, it sucked it in. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if I can like get a tripod or something to mount this camera. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. So let's see. Oh, 
well, it's kind of a it's kind of a decent view, maybe. Maybe you can see. This is this is the target area. Okay. So I'm gonna apply a, de a generous amount of solder to the tip here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Getting this all melted. Actually, I'm going to try to spread this all around because this is the chip quick stuff. Ah. That was pretty cool. Kind of left a Uh, kind of left a weird residue. I'm gonna put some so some new solder on these holes just to try to clean up that residue. Okay, so I just learned something that might be obvious to people who are experienced with this. You're supposed to melt the solder before you have the vacuum. <laughs> so let me put some new solder on these two holes. Melt the solder first, then suck. Melt first, then suck. Wow, that looked, that looks really clean. Really clean. see. I might need some light here. Hold on. There we go. You see that? And that was pretty fast. I mean, that sucked it up really fast actually. So I'm pleased, I'm pleased with my first attempt at this. Um, I don't really have any big through-hole ICs that I want to desolder right now, so this was the only thing I thought to try, but I'm actually kind of curious how well this would work on like a big 40-pin dip chip, um, like the the Williams custom DMA chips. I think it might be pretty nice for, the, for that. As you can see, the tip's starting to get some oxidation, so I'm going to try to clean that off. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put some solder on the tip like the manual tells me to do and turn this thing off and put it away. Uh, first, my first experience with this was very positive, so I'm excited to have this tool and hope to use it again for something useful in the future. Alright, thanks for watching, and if you enjoy these type of videos, then hit subscribe and be notified when I post more of, post more of them. Alright, have a good night, good day, whatever, and I'll talk to you later.